At 10, now more than 20 months into the pandemic, local restaurants that have survived are struggling to find employees. 2 News reporter Caroline Morse is live after talking with local owners about the current challenges. Caroline. That's right. I learned tonight that hundreds of restaurants across the state closed due to the pandemic. However, many local restaurants here say that they're not out of the woods yet and the entire industry is in need of workers. Restaurants are still struggling to get enough staff and um, it's over 90% of our restaurants are telling us that it's a very serious and significant issue. Some use the word crisis. The Ohio Restaurant Association says over 3,100 restaurants did not survive the coronavirus pandemic and shut their doors permanently. You know, every sale makes a difference. That's how tough business is right now for restaurants. You know, they've been down 16, 17 months, you know, since the pandemic and um, you know, they need to keep fighting and scratching for as much business as they can. Brown Street's Jimmy's Ladder 11 is celebrating 10 years since their grand opening this Thursday. Management says they are allowing employees and guests to make their own choice when it comes to wearing a mask since the city of Dayton lifted the mask mandate last week. We still provide them and we are still sanitizing everything and taking every measure that we should be taking as a restaurant in general to keep things sanitized and clean. But if you have a mask on, Fantastic. If you don't, we're not going to force you to wear one because the city's not forcing you to wear one. We Penny staff say they're continuing to wear face coverings to give staff and diners a peace of mind as we head into colder months. After the mandate came off last week, we had a discussion and uh, everybody kind of commented that last year very few of us got sick. We really didn't exchange viruses and so the consensus is let's let's keep wearing our masks, not just for COVID, but also for other germs that can pass. Now, the Ohio Restaurant Association says that they will be announcing tomorrow their plea to cities across the state to expand outdoor dining as long as they can to help the industry stay afloat. Live in Dayton, I'm Caroline Morse. Two news working for you.